Hedges, will you? We want to get back to port nice and dry. Yeah, you're trying to drown us or something? Don't worry. Just don't worry. Get you all home safe and sound. I can navigate this stuff with one hand. Uh-oh, Johnny, I think he's at it again. If he does that once more, I think I'm going to get sick. I think all this action has made the fish sick. I can't seem to make any contact with him at all. Okay, Betty, let her go. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Here, you want to try it? Sure. Only there's one hitch. What? No more bottles. I um, guess we'll have to play a different game. What else can we do out here? Well, uh, this is always fun. Oh. Of all the girls in the world, I had to get mixed up with the daughter of a judo expert. Oh, Daddy told me lots of men like to wrestle. <laughs> well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come here. Come here. What is it? Look at that. There's an island way over there that I, I don't remember seeing before. Well, this is the brightest day we've had in our vacation. It's been hidden in the mist out there before. Oh, a mysterious hidden island. Let's go ashore. <laughs> what for? Well, maybe we can find some hidden pirate treasure. Maybe it would be fun. Well, what do you say, Johnny? Oh, why not? This boat's costing us enough. We might as well see everything we can. Hey, Tony, put in here. We want to go ashore. Boy, he's really tied one on this time. <laughs> Looks like he's going to be out for quite a while. What are we going to do? Well. I know I can get this boat in close enough to the island to get the anchor down. But I'm not sure I can get us back to the main island. So, I guess our little treasure hunt's the best thing to do until our navigator sobers up. You and the girls get the dinghy ready. I'll take us in closer to the shore. Okay. on this island, they'd have spotted the boat before now. They're down here trying to sell us hand-painted coconuts. What do we do now? Well, my intuition tells me that Captain Kidd buried his loot over there. Hey, let's race up there. Last one doesn't get any of the jewels, huh? <laughs> the remains of Captain Morgan's flagship. Oh, but back there you said it was Captain Kidd. I did? Well, I guess one pirate's gold is as good as another's. <laughs> I think I found something. Hey, I think I found something. Oh, what is it? Uh, armor? Pirate's armor? Well, let's just say it's something the tide washed in. I think you're just a little too young to know about it. Hey, gang, come here. Johnny. You bet I did. Look. Oh, what is it? It's some of the best eating in these waters. A lot of clams around here, too. I'm hungry. Hey, let's have a clam bake. Right. 
And let's have a tropical style. Huh? Well, how do you mean? Well, look, Pete and I'll go into the jungle and get some banana leaves. We'll wrap the clams in them and bake them in a hole in the sand. You girls stay here and dig for something. Oh, that's fine. All except the last part. Huh? Where you go, we go. Right? Right. We'll all go for the leaves and then we'll all dig. Okay, okay. Come on, let's go. Jungle without banana trees. Hey, wait a minute. It's a cigarette pack. It's not too old either. I can still smell the tobacco. That means that somebody does live here. Well, not necessarily. Maybe somebody just went exploring a couple of days ago and then sailed away. I don't know why, but I'm scared. Let's go back to the boat. Oh, there's nothing to be scared of. Oh, no. It'll only take a few minutes, then we'll be back at the beach. Come on. I'll get some vines we can use them to pull them out. Oh, this is a trap. It was deliberately dug here. But who could have done it? Oh, I don't know. But I do know that as soon as we get them up out of that hole, we're getting out of here. Oh, wait a minute, please. I'll climb down. We'll need you here to pull them up. Okay, but be careful. Okay. Shortly after the war, I wanted to live in a world of my own, a world completely free from any kind of outside pressure. Yeah, but what do you do here? Yeah, how do you get any kicks in a place like this? Kicks? Oh, I've found diversions. I've developed a kind of passion for hunting. So that's it. That's why the trap was... No, no, no. You're quite wrong. You see, this island was once the stronghold of some renegades from the mainland. There may be one or two of them still lurking in the jungle. The fat must have been their handiwork. Uh, but all these different animals, they can't be native to this island. They weren't. But you must know what money can accomplish. It's quite simple to import any kind of beast from anywhere in the world. As other men collect fame and riches, I collect uh, trophies. Oh, get out of my way! Ah, I accept. I thought you had visitors. I... I hear these strange voices. <laughs> yes, Dean. These young people have stumbled onto my retreat. I see that you're not uh, feeling well again this evening. That's right. Maybe I uh, shouldn't bother with introductions now. I'll... Uh, I'll go back to my room. I think that would be best. You can meet our young friends later. That's right. Meet our young friends later. Later. It's really too bad. Dean was once a very brilliant man, but... I keep him here with me because I feel sorry for him. And he's an excellent chess player. I know you'll all enjoy his company when he's sober and you get a chance to know him. Well, I'm sure that's right, sir, but uh, I don't think we'll get the chance. We have to leave now. You see, our boat's anchored off the island. I'm afraid that's quite out of the question. You'd never make it through this animal-infested jungle tonight. Uh, but our boat, you see, the man who owns it doesn't know we went ashore. And he's sure to wake up. You can put your minds at rest. I have a very competent staff. They'll take care of everything. Will you excuse me a moment? I'll be right back. Johnny, what are we going to do? This place gives me the creeps. Oh, 
I don't know. I, I'd kind of like to see what gives. Uh, sure, and what do you think's gonna happen when Tony wakes up and finds it's gone? I mean, he'll head straight back to port. Maybe remember to report us missing. Well, that will be stuck here for days. Don't worry about that. Tony won't be going anywhere without us. What do you mean? I mean, I made sure of that before we left the boat by taking the rotor. <laughs> he won't be able to start the engines without it. Oh, Pete, you're wonderful. Well, that takes care of the boat. But... Hold it. I think he's coming back. <laughs> my wife. Sandra, Betty, Jeannie, Johnny, and Pete. I was sure that you would want to make them welcome to our island. Naturally. I am glad to see you. Will you be staying for a while? Well, you see, Mrs. Bellow. Yes, they will, my dear. I think I've convinced them of the foolishness of trying to leave tonight. But we don't want to impose. It's our pleasure. Isn't it, Sandra? Of course. And now, if you'll show the girls to the guest room. Yes. Uh, will you come with me, please? I've made arrangements for you to spend a comfortable night. We can discuss your leaving in the morning. Sandor has prepared a room for you. He will take you to it. Well, I don't think we Good ought Good night. Don't worry. Everything will be taken care of. Again. But how, Dean, how? He can never allow anyone to leave this place alive. And he has made sure no one ever will. I know. I'm going to gamble in a long shot. And I was kids here. I think we've got a chance. What do you mean? I've worked it all out of my mind. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sandra. Entertaining our guest? You've recovered from your indisposition, I see. I'm glad. Um, thank you. I was just about to take a turn around the ground. Wouldn't you two like to join me? You go out so seldom. I, I am tired, Alex. I was about to go to my room. Dean? Uh, no. No, thank you. I, uh, I think I'll turn in, too. Then you won't mind escorting Sandra to her room, will you? Of course not. Good night. Dean, I've worked out a very satisfactory design for living here. I think you realize that. I hope you also realize that the presence of those four young people here changes nothing as far as we're concerned. I've taken care of everything. You don't think we're dreaming, do you, Betty? No, this is no dream. 
But I can't think of a better explanation either. Come in. You all right? So far we are, but I just can't understand what's happening to us. Uh, neither can I. That big guy that took us to our room up the hall wasn't very friendly. Well, I've got a feeling this isn't as friendly a place as that Mr. Below tries to make out. I still can't figure out how it got here on the island in the first place. Well, I figured that this house was first built by one of those, you know, crackpot millionaires about a hundred years ago. Then when Below found out about it, he sort of moved in. You know, that, that could be it. He said he had a lot of money. But why? Oh, I still don't know what's going on here. Well, it's a cinch nobody's going to tell us. So we'll just have to find out for ourselves. Yeah, but how? Let's split up and have a look around. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of scared. Well, there's nothing to be scared about. I mean, I'll be with you. That's right. And Betty, you'll be with me. Now, listen. Don't get into anything you can't handle. And if you find out anything, head straight back here and we'll do the same. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. Jeannie, go that way. Okay. Make a sound. I promise to release you, but only if you swear not to cry out. All right. Go back to your room. We'll go with you. We've got to talk to you. What's this all about? Please go back to your room. We cannot talk here. There is death all around us. Okay, Betty, come on. Hurry. Well, there's something I want to tell you. Unless you do exactly as I say, you'll never get off this island. Listen to him. We are trying to help you and ourselves. I don't understand any of this. Well, I'll try and explain it as quickly as I can. First, we could have your friends from the other room in here. But they're not there. What? Oh, they're out in the house somewhere. They're trying to find out what's going on, just as we were when you stopped us. That's bad. Well, I'll go look for no, them. No, no, no. Stay here. I want you to hear this first. Let's just pray that they'll be all right.
can't believe it. It's just too awful. Every word is true. I swear it. You have to believe us. Not a word about this. Somebody give me a hand. Oh, dear. Over there. Jeannie. You'll never believe what we saw. I don't believe it myself. We just heard about it. I guess it's true, then. They told you about an unbelievable nightmare. It's, it's true, all right. Well, that settles it. We've got to try and get out of here tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Sandra and I have been saying that to each other every night for the last year. Why haven't you ever tried? Never had the opportunity. The fellow has always kept us pretty well covered. What can we do? Well, I have a plan, but I think it'll give us all a good chance. Now, Sandra, you and Betty stay here and watch after Jean to be sure she's all right. Johnny, I want you and Peter to meet me in the trophy room in a little while. Oh, it's all right. We have to run to the house. Only be careful what you say. Yeah, but what about Bello? You don't have to worry about him for a couple of hours. He's out in the jungle again. After another trophy. You think this Gerard character's on the level? Well, he must be. Anybody in their right minds would want to get out of this place. And I don't think he's nuts. I just had to make sure that Bellow had really gone. Well, does he go out every night? Yes. Every night that he can hunt. What? I mean, who? Who? Out there in that jungle, there are already several men that he's driven insane. And now there's also probably the owner of your boat. Tony? Well, he must still be out in the boat. The engines won't work. No. I'm sure that by now, Bellow's men have taken that boat to the other side of the island, to the Hidden Cove. Hidden Cove? Well, where's that? That's where your only chance for escape lies. How do you mean? There's several boats moored offshore. Someone will have to swim out to one of them and try to make it to the mainland to get help. Well, I, I'm not much of a swimmer, but I'll try. No, no. I'll do that myself. And Sandra will come with me. Sandra? That's right. She's an excellent swimmer. And even if we don't make it, drowning would be better than what Balo had in mind for both of us. Now, well, where do we fit into all this? I'm going to tell you. You're going to have to cover for us. If the guards find us gone, divert their attention until we get to the boat. And after that, after that, I'm afraid you'll have to look out for yourselves until I can come back with help. Johnny? Well, I know it doesn't sound very promising, but believe me, it's the only chance you've got. Well, I guess we'll have to take it then. Good. Now, listen to me. The first thing we do is go over to the North Shore. Get away. Uh, so far, so good. I went as far as the front door with them, nobody saw them. Well, those guards must be getting careless. One of them walked right by Sandra's room without checking it. Oh. Do you think he knows? I don't know. But Dean and Sandra have had time to get into the jungle. Let's hope they make it to the cove. Wait a minute. I just want to make sure of the direction. That guard won't be back right away. Yes, that's it. Indeed. What is it? I may never get a chance to see this again. I love you with all my heart. Darling, we won't fail. We can't fail.
find anything. No. I listened to two guards talking. One of them had been over to the cove, but he didn't mention anything about the boats. It's been two days now and no word. What I can't understand is why we haven't heard from Bellot before now. You don't think... I don't know what to think. Hold it. Somebody's coming. going on in there, Johnny? You game to try and find out? You don't mean... I think the answers to all our questions lie behind that wall. something I'd like to show you. Welcome to my private trophy room. I had intended to show it to you in time, but why not now? That's Jacoby. He had strangled seven women before he found his way to my island. His, uh, Experience made him an adversary worthy of my skill. You mean you hunted these people down and then killed them and did that to them? Exactly. I hunted them. And shall I tell you why? I'd been a scholar all my life. I was curator of a large museum when the war began. I, who had never killed anything in my life, found myself assigned to duty as a sniper a sharpshooter because of my steady hand and keen eyesight. <laughs> it amuses me now that I found it distasteful at first. And as time went by, I adjusted my new activity and what had been an unpleasant duty became a pleasure. Then it developed into a passion and then into a lust, a lust for blood, a lust that has grown with the years and one that I spend my entire life trying to satisfy. Don't be afraid. I've merely preserved my trophies as they were at the moment of my trial. I see that my latest trophy has really impressed you. I'm glad, because I think it's the best thing I've done so far. And because they tried to betray me, it gave me great satisfaction. I must leave you now. Since you had no difficulty finding your way here, I'm sure that when Miss Scott has regained her composure, you'll be able to see her to her room. Oh, yes. There's one thing more I'd like to have you see before you go. You'll notice that this niche has room for three or even four trophies. And there you have it. I think it'll be wonderful sport. Don't you? Listen, Mr. Below, fun's fun. But if you think we're going to be the clay pigeons and you're shooting, Gowie, you're just a little hey, far out. Take it easy, Johnny. He must be kidding. I mean, 
I mean, there must be an explanation for all of this, isn't there? Well, isn't there? I think I've made myself quite clear. But you can't mean that you're going to Johnny and Pete like you did those others? As if they're animals? Animals? No. Not like animals. I'm going to hunt them as men. Men of brains and cunning. Just as I stalked and hunted men when I was in the army. On the island's not very different from this one. Tony! Yes. Tony. I think it's only fair that he should be here at this time because he's going to take part in the game, too. No, no, please, don't send me out there with them. Tony, you've outlived your usefulness to me. I paid you well to provide me with subjects in the past. I warned you not to use your boat for other purposes. But since you've been so foolish as to allow these young people to find their way here without my knowledge, I think it only right that you should share their fate. Do you mean... That's exactly what I mean. Tony was my source of supply for subjects. In the past, they were always convicts, escaped from the penal island. Now I find him no longer dependable. You really think you can get away with this madness? Madness? What I've planned is a pleasant evening's diversion. See, I know he was only kidding. Well, that's just a toy. Well, I couldn't kill anyone. Yes, it can. And soon we'll try to prove it. Please, Mr. Bellow, don't do this awful thing. Oh, please. You have nothing to be alarmed about, young lady. You're in no danger, either of you. Your life here with me will be a pleasant one. You'll find me a most accommodating host. Do you think Jeannie and I'll have any if you send Pete and Johnny out and kill them in that jungle? Yes, I think so. I know so. No one has ever left this island, dead or alive. And since the unfortunate incident involving my wife has left me without feminine company, I look forward to getting to know you both better. Much better. Look, isn't it enough you have to make sitting ducks out of Pete and me? You have to hurt the girls, too? Hurt them? Surely he really means it. What are we going to do? I think you asked the wrong person about your future activity. Go with Shondo. Shandor, lock them in their room and then come back at once. Very touching. But to return to your question, Pete, I will tell you exactly what to do up to a certain point. The rest, then, will be up to you. Are you listening to this, Tony? It applies to you, too. The moonlight's bright tonight, so you will make your way to the starting point of the chase. It's in the center of the jungle. Ivor will give you exact directions. The natives used to call it the Tree of Death. I will give you plenty of time to plan your flight before I follow with the crossbow. And uh, just three of these. Just three shots. That's all I allow myself. Very sporting, don't you think? You haven't answered me. Don't you think it's very sporting of me to allow myself just one chance at each of you? Oh, sure. Real sporting. Regular Marcus of Queensbury. In a jungle that you know like the palm of your hand? With that thing that could knock an elephant over? You're gonna hunt us down. Of course, we have nothing to defend ourselves with. Not so fast, not so fast. You haven't allowed me to finish the entire plan of the evening's entertainment. Tony, here, catch. Oh, Tony, it isn't loaded. He had us alone in here with an unloaded gun. It's time to start. The odds are not completely one-sided. Your youth and numbers against my skill and experience. You'll find the ammunition in the branches of the Tree of Death. When that gun is loaded, my life will also be subject to how the hunt goes. That 
rat. That lousy sting rat. Michelle, he left only one shell. That's the way his twisted mind works. What do you mean? Don't you see? He allows himself three shots, one for each. And we get one shot at him. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Come on, give me the gun and let's get moving. Oh, no, you don't, Buster. You just hand over that bullet. Don't be a fool, Tony. I'm a better shot than you are. Yeah? You ever shot a man? No. Well, I have. And I ain't taking any chances on no amateur. Well, which way should we go? I don't know which way you two guys are going. But I'm going alone. So long, suckers. Hey! Hey, come back here! No, oh, no, let him go. It's better if we do split up. It doubles our chances. Oh. Well, the balloon can't hunt in two directions at once. Now, look, the way I figured, we must be right about in the middle of the island. Now, we'll head that way, try to get to the beach, and then work our way back to the house. Back to the house? Are you nuts? Well, let's try to find the boat. Oh, we've got to try and get the girls out first. Oh, but Below said he wouldn't touch... Don't mind what he said. I know what he meant. I don't like the way those goons of his kept looking at the girls. Come on, let's get started. I, I just don't see how you figure this. Never mind. We've got to do what we can. And that's the first thing. Well, here's hoping we find the second thing. What are you? The guard's still out there. And wide awake. Oh, Betty, what are we going to do? Even if we do get out of this room, where are we going to go? I don't know. Maybe we could find the boys and try to get to the boat. We don't even know where it is. Oh, it's just no use. Oh, even this window is locked. Come here, Jeannie. Listen to me. I've got an idea. Don't ask any questions. Just do exactly as I say. All right. What do you want me to do? Here. Oh. Oh. I'm terribly sorry. I was moving it and... And it just broke. I I'm sure I can fix it if, if you could get me some glue. I didn't mean to break it. It, it was such a pretty vein. <laughs> Jeannie, come on, hurry. Come on, I'll help you climb out. Out there? But we'll be killed. No, we won't. There's a ledge out there. We can work along that till we come to an open window. But what if there's something? Never mind, it's the only way. Come on, hurry up. Be careful, too.
So, Tony, we come to the end of the trail. I'm disappointed in you, Tony. You've known me long enough to realize that I wouldn't give you a gun without first taking the precaution of removing the firing pin. You find that hard to believe? Well, you see, Tony, if I hadn't given you the gun, you would never have given me the pleasure of seeing your face at the moment of the kill. Oh, no, no, please. Please, don't do it, please. I'll never give your secret away. I promise. I'll get you more convicts. I'll never make a mistake again, please. All right, Tony. I'll reconsider. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You won't be sorry. You won't be sorry. Enough of this. I have work to do. You get back to the house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll go right now. Tony. I have reconsidered. I'm sure I heard a scream. I can't tell. I think it might just have been a jungle bird. No, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was Tony. That means we're next. Oh, come on, Johnny. Let's try and find that boat. It's our only chance. Now, we're not going to do anything until we get the girls free. Now, come on. I think this is the way to the beach. Back to the tree of death. We'll pick up the other trail there. Well, we made it this far. Yeah, but where is this far? I don't know, but it's closer to far away than back in that room. Come on. Oh, no. That's the door to that terrible workroom I told you about. Find a knife or something in there. He can only get one of us. Mr. Ballou told me to take good care of you ladies. Don't come any closer. Can't you see I'm harmless? I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Can't you see? Can't you see? What's the use? It's, it's only a matter of time before Below catches up with us. No, I don't think we are lost. The 
jungle thinning out. We must be getting closer to the beach. So what? I don't, I don't mean to put you down, Johnny, but even if, if we do find the beach, then what are we going to hold? Well, come on. we got to make time. This way. Was not far behind us. I think that's what scared our little friend off. Come on, Pete, you think you can make it? I got a choice. doesn't find them first. specimen for my museum. Oh, I'm sorry, Kendall. I won't be able to stay to enjoy your last moments, but I am urgently required elsewhere. Okay. I guess so. We better keep moving, then. We'll never find the boys just sitting here. May I say it just once more, please? What? I'm scared. Well, if it makes you feel any better, so am I. But we've got to go on. Let's go this way. That's better, Eugene. Come on. Ah! 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 Ah!
You all right? Come on. Let's get out of here, fast. you to enjoy the hospitality of my island while I took care of more pressing business. Oh. But since... doesn't get us, the strain will. We're going to have to try a real grandstand play. Betty, did any of Bellows' boys follow you? From the sound they made, I'd say the whole bunch is out looking for us. Good. At least they'll be out of the house. Pete, drop down and see if you can see any signs of them. Pete, be careful. Let me at him. It's okay. It's okay, come on. Look, we haven't got a chance without a gun. We've got to get back into the trophy room. But we can't. We just got out of there. No, that's just why we can take a chance on going back there. Bellows, guards will still be out looking for you girls. Now, if we can shake Bellow and get back there before the guards do, we can get the guns and maybe have a chance to stay alive long enough to find the boat. Come on. There's one guy that's not out combing the bushes for us. Should we jump him, Johnny? No, I don't think so. I think our best chance is to try and sneak past him. <laughs> Surprised? Oh, very funny. Don't just stand there. Try and find something to open it with. Well, after we get it, what are we going to do? We're going to try and get out of here and find the boat. Oh, thank goodness. I don't want to stay in here any longer than we have to. Yeah, yeah, that ought to do the trick.
there's no ammo here. Where well, has gotta be. These guns are useless to us without it. No, I know. Somebody's coming. Well, let's get out of here. that someone should want a further look at my little souvenir. No one else has ever come back a second time. Alive. It's rather dark in here. Perhaps we should have a little more light. Well, let's try elsewhere. Time. Strange about these old walls. The smallest sound is amplified. If one sits quite still, one can hear the slightest murmur. Sometimes even the slightest breath. There's a certain closeness about this place. I've never corrected it. It helps preserve my trophies. But at times, it does make breathing difficult. I've sat here so long that I find I can sit for hours and not make a single sound. Not a single sound. <coughs> a single sound. Stay just where you are. That's far enough, fellow. Don't come any closer. I think it was rather rude of you to force open my gun cabinet. But I'll overlook it, since you spared my ammunition chest. Oh, yes. I know your guns are quite useless. No, no. I wouldn't try that if I were you. It would only hasten your death and that of all your friends. Okay, Bella. You win. I never doubted it. Did you? Well, why don't you get it over with? Oh, not so fast, my young friend. I have an idea that appeals to me. Let me group you in this setting, alive as you will be in death for all time. What do you mean? I'll show you, my dear. I've never had the pleasure of a trial arrangement of my trophy. You, Pete, over there. Move. And you, my dear, I think you'd look most effective with your arms around Johnny's neck. Oh, wait a minute. You promised to let the girls live. That's right. I did promise. But since they obviously helped you kill the guard, I'm afraid I can no longer trust them. Guard? Oh, we didn't kill any guard. What? Honest. The only guard we saw was at the gate, and we sneaked past him. Quiet. Don't make a sound. Any of you. Not a sound. Over to my chair and throw the last switch. Move quickly, quickly. Hurry, 
The last switch. Shandor. Stop. I warn you. Did. I don't think they'll give us any trouble. I guess Below never thought he'd be the prize exhibit in his own museum. 